Let's go to Makura. If I see them moving into this area, I know they're going to be trying to head north. T! Excellent. University in Utrecht is complete. Speaking of universities, I should be building some more. And we're at 60%. Oh, right. Yes, because we've taken Safala. So ticking war score is now on my side, and that's only going to go up to 85%. That's good. And then once we've taken this fort, I can actually start taking the land over here. Yep, they are indeed heading north. Well, go and stop them. I don't know if their 40s stack is with them. Cruelty of mercenaries. War is seldom without brutality. Soldiers are not known for their mercy, but this war has seen some extremely vile behaviour in the part of the occupying forces. It appears that mercenaries, unsatisfied with the wages we provide them with, have resorted to robbing the civilian populace. Extortion by means of terror and torture have become commonplace. Dutch soldiers are reviled as well as feared, and stories of their atrocities spread beyond the borders of the war. So I gain professionalism and curtail them. Which does reduce mercenary, or increases mercenary maintenance and reduces available mercenaries. But it does give me some more professionalism, so I think that's a worthy payoff. Oh, you've actually gone for Kilwa proper. I think you'll probably find that to have been a mistake there, buddy. Paul von Pallant. Paul von Pallant is a very proficient merchant, renowned for his attempts to improve trade customs and stabilize the economy of our nation. So we can get Diplo Power or no, Diplo Power and Stability or Diplo Power and Prestige. So at this point, I am actually going to pull the trigger on this. We're going to spend 148 Stability to get to level 2. And we'll do this one to get to level 3. Because clearly what I needed was more money. You're actually... Is Force Marching a thing I can do? Yes. So once again, we're heavily outnumbered, but they're on the minus one. This is a defensive siege. And we are, once again, crushing their centre and then destroying their army from the inside. No measly flanking or anything like that from us. Oh no. And they haven't exactly got a wimp for a general either. And he will actually be mitigating some of the fire damage that we're doing. And I just realised Hasselhofster is the siege general, so he's the one that should probably be attacking that. An army career. With the growth of our professional army, new career opportunities abound for those with ability and ambition. The old influential families, however, still expect to be awarded the most valuable commissions out of tradition and the centuries during which their lineages have served the council faithfully. So this is army tradition versus professionalism. I'm taking the tradition. Because I'm hoping that that will result in the ability to get better generals. I have offensive ideas, do I not? No, I don't. Okay. At this point, why fight wars? You should just buy their country. It's still cheaper. <laughs> Mission fulfilled. Oh, really? Colonize Brazil. Settler chance plus 3, global tariffs plus 10 for 15 years. Alright then, don't mind if I do. See Ceylon is next, and I can definitely do that. Because Vijanagar is over here, and they are without friends. And in fact, I can use my African colonies as a jumping off stage. Another colony. Uh, another university. Zzz. Oh no, just one. So I'm going to switch my two armies around. So that the uh, army with the better siege general is the one actually doing the sieging. Then we'll send this one up north. Because I think this is actually the better fighting general. That's seven combat pips versus actually eight. We could try for another general, see if we can get someone better. Now that my tradition can support that, I think that's actually a good idea. So we'll go for... Good 
Zach Barnett. What did I double two? Two T's. Zach Barnett, are you any good? Three, 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 one. Uh, I think we can probably do better. Let's get another Zach Barnett. So that's four, eight, twelve, six, seven, thirteen. So no. Oh no, that's Hass Hassel Hofster. Yeah, you're better than this Zach Barnett. I think I can probably do better. Better than better. Nope, he's he's awful. Right, let's try another Zach Barnett. Three one six, nope. Pete's sake, these are all rubbish. Seven ten points. No, that's Hobham. What is up with this? You're a cursed name, Zack. Two, six, four, eight, fourteen. You're definitely rubbish. You're fired. You're also rubbish. You're fired. This is the downside of calling everyone the same name. This is why there really needs to be the ability to rename a general once they've already been established. Um, you're weaker than the others. So it's between these three. You were an 8, 10, 11, 12. You're only a 9. 6, 7, 11. So it's this guy, definitely. But are you really better than Cucumber? Yes, in basically every way. Hey, Olsen. He just wanted the professionalism to go up. Yeah, true. We did gain a bit from that. Excellent supplies! Our naval supply production is unusually good, giving us a boost to ship production. Damn it, I just built 40 ships. Oh well. Cucumber's being replaced with Zack. He's also a level 3 general. Good. And... You're both a level 3 general per siege now, but we've taken all the siege places. much as I really want to take Zanzibar, it is kind of expensive. I uh, don't much care about any of those countries. 73 over extension. That could be a problem. No, it's not. Not yet, anyway. Although that will completely tank my trade income. Now, nah, who cares? I'm rich enough. Well, not enough, just rich, sufficiently rich to weather that. Take some more. Might even need to invade Madagascar. Although Madagascar would be a heck of a lot easier for me to attack. Uh, which one was that? Oh, that was you. The mapper needs to be done because I need to get to Maturu before they do. And in fact, I think I'm going to recall one of my colonies and do that. Otherwise, I'm cut off. There we are. Now I'm guaranteed to get into the hinterlands. Although I could have done it this way. So, Zach Barnett is the most popular name in the Netherlands. Huh? Maybe? Alright, that guy is heading north again. I think I'm going to cut down the amount of land here I want to take. Getting this peace deal completely wrong. So 
There's just Masapa that I can't quite get. That's fine. Oh no, I can't afford that one either. Ah, flipping hell. You know what? This will do. I'm not going to demand anything else except for cash. Because I don't want a very long truce. Because I want to go after Kilwa again. After this is done. Okay. First things first. Zanzibar node at everything to the trade league. Plus 20% goods produced. <laughs> you guys head to the coast. And core all the things. Another mission fulfilled. Expand overseas. Own five provinces across three different trade company regions that do not use the same continent as your capital. Gain another 30% trade efficiency for 25 years. Okay then, I accept. Give me more money. My trade efficiency right now is 99. And I could get another idea, which is another 10% trade efficiency, because of course it is. Sure, why not? 109% trade efficiency. So it's still annoying that these Kilwa provinces are separated out from this. Um... But oh well. I mean, one thing that I could do, potentially, is colonize these. There's a lot of population there. They would actually be pretty valuable. Although, that's now kind of cut off. So I probably am the only one that can do it. Anyway, yeah, Zanzibar. Now dominated by me. And we are pushing most of that money into the Cape. We've definitely got a position to attack Aiden from, because we own this. And you are, in fact, a harbour I'd like to upgrade. Oh, because oh, I'm still coring you, probably. Okay, so the other thing that I need to do is prepare to go for Ceylon. So I can get my holding in India. Times of need. The dynasty of our noble Stotthalder von Orani is certainly a powerful one. Although through Eyes Nachtigall they rule our nation and will do so for many years to come. However, even the greatest sometimes in need of help. I don't really need much. Uh, Diplo. Kill one no longer considers me a rival. <laughs> <laughs> I did just get 100 power protection, plus 44 from conquered provinces, declared war, plus 5. Uh, second rank, great power, plus 22. Objectives fulfilled, plus 9. Embargoing various people, plus 3. Your merchant to Malacca is not transferring much. That is a good point. Yes, alright. I think it's time that we start to get involved in Aiden. And you know what else I've just done? I've just been building a whole bunch of trade ships. Protect trade, Gulf of Aiden. As soon as I, there it is. Ostseevloot, no, not Aiden. Off you go. East India trade route. Oh, we've lost that. Wait, what? How have I lost that? Too few rivals. So I'd need to choose from Tuscany or Russia. Russia, I really have nothing against. If I was going to rival anyone, it would be France. Because Britain I've basically knocked out of the New World already. I would love to take French Columbia. Have I embraced many factories yet? No, I haven't actually. 
I'm not really in a huge hurry to do so because we're a long way away from the next technology. We could. It's it's spread throughout the whole of the Netherlands. Oh, you know what that means? That means that I need to change the state edicts. And you know what this means? More freaking money. <laughs> Especially here. Uh, Antwerpen has the very, very scary 126 trade power. From one province I'm getting that. Mamelukes if I'm going into Aiden. The Mamelukes don't really control much of Aiden. I mean, what I'd really like to do is I like, take these senses of trade. If I do that, then I'm, I'm sorted. The Mamelukes do, however, have Australia. And we are definitely having something of a rivalry over there. They're also going after Brunei and Indonesia. France does have a couple of territories I would like. Let's do it. Let's go for France. I don't see how this could possibly backfire. Colonial Assembly, New Gelderland, eh? That's not at all suspicious, eh? So I need to upgrade you, 900. Um, I'm going to keep you here for the moment. A helping hand. Austria's got goods... Oh, yeah. Plus 10% goods produced everywhere would be super nice. 25 Diplo from Brabant. Thank you very much, Vassal. Population from Taglock. Awesome. Yeah, I'm going to save up. I'm not going to take loans for this. I'm just going to save up, and when we have the money, we'll get, we'll embrace. And even with my obscene amount of overextension, I am still earning 170 ducats from trade. And that's with suffering a minus 77% trade power abroad. So the only place that I'm actually not losing trade power is English Channel. Sorry, Dutch Channel. But we are coring everything, so it's just a matter of time until that's done. Universities are done. How long is your truce? Maizu and Bahmanis until 1666. Okay, that's actually a 12-year truce. So that gives us a bit of time to go after you. And the Maldives are also completely free. Well, I have spare people. Don't much care about outraged countries at the moment. Here we go, I can embrace. Marvellous. We're now fully up to date once again. And also gaining more money through production, which is already earning me quite a lot of cash. Oh, Heine finally rose up. Crikey, that took them a while. Protect trade. Uh, it's moved. Hidden. And... Doo -doo -doo -doo. One of these armies needs to head home. quite liking this infantry mercenary infantry in the front row than like regulars in the back it's a really good way of um, keeping manpower I'm actually oh yeah I don't need to I'm always ahead of time in technology and I have Dutch officials which is the age of absolutism special corruption is a non-factor the only reason I'm gaining it right now is because of overextension Now at some point, I do need to start working on my Canadian colony. Stratacona there has been looking rather desolate for a, a while.
Uh, you don't have an edict. You should have an edict. Oh, you're also in the wrong trade area. Eh, it's fine. That's a seriously noisy plane outside. Gain a diplomat or stability cost modifier. Both of those are quite strong. I don't tend to find that I'm hugely short on diplom. Well, that's not actually true. I have been relatively short on diplomats this playthrough. Although this is certainly no HRE playthrough, so it's less diplomat problem. Am I still pushing money from the North Sea into Lubeck and then out again? Yes. Wow, you keep a lot of that money. I need to pump up how much I'm putting in. In fact, I need to go up against Denmark. That was one of the things that I was thinking about doing. You've still got Norway, so I could break Norway free and let them... Let them thrive. Another treasure fleet has arrived. I can get even more light ships. Which I should definitely do, because why the hell not? Another 40? Sure. Looks like a nice revolt in England. We'll see. Have my armies arrived yet? Come on. Okay, you're on the way. You're getting there. And what's the formation here again? 15 to 10. Yeah, it's a formation I still quite like. I think that's still got a lot of running power. Although my army could be a lot bigger. We could raise a third stack. You know what, I'm going to make a standard Merc template. Which is going to be ten of these. Uh, two and ten. Two of those, ten of these. So, sorry, fifteen, isn't it? Yeah, it's fifteen. Fifteen infantry, two and, two, two and ten. These are regulars, these are mercenary. Not necessarily what I would, like, immediately hire. Once I have some more manpower, then we'll be fine. But if I'm doing a war and I need to change my templates real quick, then that's a way of doing it. And in fact, it might well be time to start switching around, switching them out. Although, <laughs> rebels are going to be a thing. So in fact, I have a cunning plan. Those are going to be in Africa. I'm going to split out my regular infantry. So we have five of them here. Select you, disband. We have more than 60, so we're getting this manpower back again. We are going to then conform to template standard merc, so you're going to go up to full strength. And then we're going to go over to you. And we're going to get rid of your mercenaries. All ten of them. And we're going to tell you to confirm to template standard. Why can't I? Oh, right. I'm not in a place I can actually build soldiers right now. Well, I really hope the rebels don't rise up here because you'll get squished. With just five units of infantry in the front row.
Oh, don't tell me. You built some mercenaries in places where we we're building ships. One. Only two cavalry, yeah. Don't need more than that. All of my damage comes from firepower. And infantry. My cavalry aren't great. This is definitely late enough in the game when cavalry power... Are to when firepower rules supreme. Right, let's move you down here, ready for the uprisings. Also, I was going to start building some forts, and I think I desperately need to do that. Um, need to decide how and where, though. You can have one. You, Benin, need to be upgraded to level six. And then I think Bono Man is going to get one. Alright, so that's that bit protected. So long as forts are there, rebels don't matter so much, because if there's a fort in the area and rebels take a province, then you don't get any of the negative effects. They have to take the fort for that to happen. So you're currently protecting some of this area, but we need another one, like probably a noop or something like that. See, unfortunately, because the fort in Denkira is not done, when that's captured, then we will suffer years of separatism. Tag lock's finished. Excellent. Are you a colonist? You are. Keep going. Still quite a long way away. 